Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my May favorites and I'm sorry if I sound a little bit sniffly. I do have a terrible cold which just doesn't seem to want to go away. I'm going to start this video off by talking about my beauty favorites for the month and I'd say most of these are actually things I've been using for a while but I've just kind of rediscovered them and it's one of those really nice things when you rediscover items in your beauty collection that you may not have been using so frequently and then you're just really bringing back into your daily routines. So the first thing that I want to talk about is my MAC eyeshadow palette. Now this was actually part of the Eyes on MAC collection if I recall correctly and this was the Nordstrom exclusive. So I used mouth warding to purchase this from Nordstrom just as I didn't like the cool or warm tone palettes quite as much as I enjoyed the colors in this one and there are a lot of shades in here which I was actually already planning to put in a palette that I built myself. So this just seemed like an absolute no-brainer for me. I am wearing eyeshadows from this palette today. I've got this top one here, which is Omega. And then I have this really shimmery one down the bottom called Honey Lust. And then I also have just a little bit of this one here, which is Brun. Uh, just to deepen up my outer corner and I really love MAC eyeshadows. I think they are beautiful They're really soft and creamy. They blend out really really well MAC eyeshadows were I think probably one of the first eyeshadows I ever purchased aside from Red Earth and They have just been one of those things that I keep wanting to go back to because they are incredible And I'd really like to actually make another 15 pan palette of my own and just kind of getting to select all the shades myself so I'm thinking about possibly doing that while I'm away but this has just been one of those things that I feel like there is a look in here for every single occasion and I also find that the shadows last all day so they're still on my eyes at the end of the day they don't tend to wear off that much now the next thing I want to talk about is another palette and this is actually more of a recent purchase it is the Lorac Pro Contour palette and this is what it looks like I use every single shade in here except for the deep contour just as this is incredibly dark for me and obviously not for someone with my skin tone but I wasn't expecting to like this as much as I did and I also didn't think I was going to get that much use out of it but I love the powders they are very pigmented and like I mean extremely pigmented you do not need much at all to really get a beautiful shadow on your face or even to help to bronze up your face which the medium contour is perfect for bronzing and I've been using that every single day but I just find that they work really well on your skin. They blend out really nicely. And as I said, you do not need a lot of product. And I also have to say, I quite like the shimmer highlight. I didn't think that I would like it initially when I first watched it. But it is what I am wearing today on my cheeks. And I just think it is really, really beautiful. It's quite a nice sort of formula. I mean, it's super creamy. That's sort of what it looks like, if you can see on the back of my finger. But... All of the powders are like that and it's one of the things I really, really enjoy about this palette. And I mean, look, you probably see that on the back of my hand. That's without blending it out properly, but super pigmented, super happy with this purchase. So glad that I splurged on it and I really like Lorac products. I think they're wonderful and I really can't wait to pick up a few more while I'm in America. Next, I want to talk about a few products that I've been using on my base. And I've noticed now that it's coming into winter that my skin has been feeling really thirsty lately. It has been incredibly dry as opposed to super oily in the summertime. So I've had to really slather on the moisturizer. And for that, I've been using the Kate Somerville Oil-Free Moisturizer. Now, now, I love, love, love the packaging of this. I think it is absolutely genius. You pull the lid off and then you just pump this down. The product comes out of here and then you just swipe it off with your finger and then put it onto your face and I just think it's really great. It feels very, very lightweight, but I feel like it's given my skin a nice drink after I've applied it. And this is a great day and night moisturizer as well. So I tend to apply a little bit more of this at nighttime just to make sure that my skin is really getting the moisture that it needs. Then in terms of my base for day-to-day -day wear, I've been using my NARS Radiant Tinted Moisturizer so much recently. I've got the shade Light 3 or Grow and Land. I like the fact that it's got a slightly dewy base, however you can mattify it if you want using a powder, which is really easy. And it looks great no matter how you apply it. And it's a very lightweight kind of a coverage. And I have been applying it with, hello, my Sigma Flat Kabuki brush. This is F80 and I forgot how much I liked this. I'd actually been using a beauty blender for the last, I want to say, few months whenever I would apply this, but I've started going back to this. I've used it today so you can tell it hasn't been cleaned, but this is just so soft. 
I'm quite impressed with the brushes from Sigma. I've got a full range of them. I did an order probably about two years ago now, and they are pretty good. They don't shed too much. I mean, there's odd hair in here that I could probably pull out, but I haven't really noticed any shedding, and I've used them so much. And yeah, like I said, this is super soft, and I really like the way that it applies the product to my skin. So that has been a huge winner for me this past month. And then for my lips, <laughs> you can tell Charlotte's trying to get herself comfortable behind me. For my lips, I have been loving Max Velvet Teddy, and this is a matte lipstick. However, it is a really creamy matte, and it's what I'm wearing on my lips today. It is that perfect pinky brown tone nude, which I just find is really in at the moment, but I also feel like it's very flattering. It doesn't seem aging like some of the other more pinky mauve colors that I have in my collection, and I really just love the way that this feels on my lips. It's very comfortable, and it's pretty long wearing as well. Obviously, I do have to reapply during the day, but overall, I feel like this is such a great lipstick to have in your collection, and if you don't have it, I highly recommend you go out and purchase it. All right, so now I want to move on to my fashion favorites for the month, and I've just got two to share because obviously I'm doing a capsule wardrobe. You guys know what's in it. I will link it down below, but my capsule for autumn is ending, so my next video is going to be on um, the fluid capsule wardrobe, and obviously I'll talk a lot more about that in my next video. But one of my huge favorites for this month has been my Acne Canada scarf, and I'm actually wearing a nice sort of a poncho right now, but. I love this. It has started to cool down and I have been wearing this so much. It is such a huge scarf but it is so warm. It is made out of a lamb's wool and it has worn really well. It feels just the same as when I bought it. I haven't tried washing this however if I was to clean it I'd probably take it to the dry cleaner just as I feel like that's the best thing to do but it really has st stood the test of time. I've had this for two years now and I don't really think that you can tell. I think it's just, yeah, looks almost like new. And this has just been one of those things that I've been grabbing just before I rush out the door as it has really been getting very cold in the morning and in the evening. During the day it is so hot. It almost feels like it is spring or heading into summer, which is really bizarre. But in the morning and in the evening, this has just been a lifesaver for me. And then in terms of tops that I've been loving, I have been wearing this so much. This is a black skivvy, it's got a little bit of fluff over it, sorry. This is the black skivvy from Kate Sylvester. I purchased this a couple of years ago on sale and it's probably one of the best sale purchases that I've ever made. I wear this every winter. It is one of those things I can wear all the time. It's a great layering piece because it's also very lightweight, which makes it wonderful because I tend to have a few dresses that I like to winterize for the office and this is just the perfect companion to pair with those. But I like how it looks with jeans on its own or just with a skirt as well and I've been wearing this heats with my Love and Drifter skirt with a combination which I actually wore in my recent What I Wore in a Week video, so I'll drop that down below so you guys can see if you haven't watched it yet, but this has just been wonderful. It is a merino wool, so it does keep in the warmth, but because it is pretty lightweight, uh, I feel like it's just been perfect for this unseasonably warm weather that we've been having lately. So those were all of my favorites for the month of May. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. And like I said, don't forget to keep an eye out for my next video, which is going to be on the fluid capsule wardrobe. It's a concept that I really can't wait to share with you guys, and I hope that you enjoy it. Anyway, I'll see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. See you later. Bye.